What's up guys and gals, vapers and vapettes, and the entire YouTube universe. Vaping Vigilante coming at you this morning. Now, this morning I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is kind of, I kind of spawned the idea for this uh, quick little video and some conversations I was having, uh, having on uh, Facebook last night. And um, what I want to do this morning is I want to try to do a quick little video on series versus parallel when it comes to unregulated boxes or devices or something like that. Now, it seems like there's still some confusion. Um, you know, people that are getting into new box mods um, or are transitioning from variable wattage, variable voltage devices and getting into the unregulated uh, spectrum of the vaping world and they have some questions about series boxes and parallel boxes. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to compare two unregulated devices. They're not the exact same device, um, but for the comparison, they're going to be close enough to give you an idea. I'm going to use the exact same atomizer on both devices with the exact same build and all that. So you can kind of see, maybe from a visual point of view, how there is some performance differences between series and parallel. Now. For my series device, I'm going to be using my BC Box Mod. This is a 26650 series box. The only thing that this has in it, um, being that it's unregulated, is a 194 amp MOSFET, and that is basically used to take the load off of the switch. Um, other than that, it is 14 gauge wire, and it is totally unregulated. These are fresh batteries. That pull that you see seen me do just now is the only amount of power that's been taken out of these batteries. Now, this is my series device. Now, for the parallel device, um, I'm going to be using the ABS box from Sagreen that I did a video on yesterday morning. Now, this is this does not have any protection in it at all. It has no MOSFET taking load off of the switch or anything like that but it does have the 14 gauge wire and it is parallel okay now I know that these are 26650 and these are 18650 and that basically the only difference there is that 26650s are not do not discharge as fast as 18650s 18650s are designed you know were originally designed for um, high discharge capacity because they were used in electronics like flashes, powerful flashes for cameras and things like that. So they were need they needed a high discharge rate. Okay. 26650s are meant for a more steady release of energy. Um, and an 18650 will deliver a faster okay surge of energy. So let's get started. Okay. We will start, I think, let's go ahead and start with, um, let me pull the Addy off of this series right quick. Now, the Addy I'm using is the big 26650 Doge. Okay, there's the Doge. And the build that I have in this is actually the build that I have um, waiting on my uh, triple series box that's on its way from BC Box Mods that uh, shipped out yesterday so I should have it uh, by tomorrow or Thursday or something like that barring any acts of God. This is a uh, regular Canthal. This is 24 gauge Canthal. I believe that there are um, 10 or 12 wraps on a 3 millimeter. It comes out to 0.6 okay this is a 0.6 build so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna screw it on my parallel box here okay am I making contact let's see nope screw it down a bit more okay now now parallel okay is it does not add the battery voltage okay each one of these batteries fully charged is between 3.7 and 4.2 volts okay 
let's go with the 4.2 volt. Okay, you're not getting 8.4 volts in a parallel setup. You're getting 4.2 volts. Okay, the batteries in, in parallel, they do not add. What I'm going to do, like I said, this is 0.6 ohms. I'm just going to fire it, and you, I want you to watch the ramp up time. Okay? Okay, see, that's parallel on a 0.6 ohm. Now, 4.2 volts, unregulated box. It's, it's, it's an okay amount of vapor. It's, it's fairly thin and wispy. Okay, it's that's parallel. Anyway, it's 4.2 volts. You can't compare this to a regulated device or a veritable wattage device that you set at. Um, performance would be similar, be close, but you'd probably get a little bit faster ramp up time with a regulated device than you would with an unregulated parallel device. But as you can see, I. I fired that for quite some time. I already kind of preheated the coils, but I mean, to me it's as meek as a kitten. It's it's not blowing my shorts off or anything like that. But and that's like I said, that's a 0.6 ohm build. Okay, that's a, it's still sub ohm. Um, you're just it's not it's not meant to be a rocket ship. It doesn't matter how many batteries you stack you stack in parallel. You're only getting 4.2 volts at best. Okay, the benefit to parallel is you can build a little bit, or you have to kind of build a little bit lower if you're looking for that um, that big cloud, that big hit. Um, but the other benefit is you tend to get fairly phenomenal battery life. Okay, um, so they can last all day in a parallel box. Series, you're, you're stacking, you're, you're adding the voltage. We'll, we'll get there. So let me screw this back off right quick. Set that down go to the series box. Now, this does add the voltage. You're taking 3.7 or 4.2, 3.7 or 4.2, and you're adding those. So, best case scenario, I'm getting 8.4 volts, boom, straight, okay? Now, let me show you, like, like I said, this is a totally unregulated device. Now, let me make sure I've got, I'm sure I still have plenty of juice on there, but we just want to make sure. Okay. So, now let me show you, let's see. Yeah, coils are fairly cool. Okay, now let me show you the ramp up time on a series. Okay, see? Quite a bit faster. Okay, that's series. Series is 8.4 volts. Now, let me take a hit. See? Obvious difference. I did, I drew until my lungs were, f I had the airflow set the same. I drew until I could not draw anymore, and it put out a hell of a lot more vapor. Okay, let me show you again. A lot thicker, a lot warmer, a lot more vapor. That's series, okay? Now, parallel is beginning and intermediate. Okay, if we're going to put this in a class, parallel is, in my mind, parallel 
is for more for your beginning vapor, intermediate vapor, or just vapors that aren't looking for cloud chasing, or they're not looking for gigantic productions of, of vapor or anything like that. Okay, that is where parallel comes in. You get good battery life. It is safer. It is a lot safer. Okay. Now, anybody can screw something up. Anybody can fuck something up. Okay. So, not to say that it, it, it is entirely safe because nothing is entirely safe. You have to use some common sense. You got to learn some things before you go doing stuff. But parallel was not meant to do that. Now, you can build really low, like I use my comp build, which is between a 0.06 and a 0.08. Um, and I use them on parallel devices because I get fairly good battery life and, and things like that for cloud comps and stuff. Um, and because I'm building so low, yeah, it'll hit hard, but I'm building really low. I'm building into an advanced vaping level. Now, with series, no. Do not build, well, I can't say do not. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm saying that unless you know exactly what you're doing, unless you have lots of experience with it, series is advanced vaping, okay? It is, it is, you need a lot more knowledge. You need to educate yourself a lot more. You need to know down, down pat. You got to know how to build right in order to achieve desired results, okay, whatever you're desiring. If I put a point, now, there's people out there that can do it. How the hell they do it, I don't have a fucking clue, okay? But if I put a point zero six or a point zero eight bill, we're talking damn near a dead short, okay? You're, you're way sub -owned. This would fire like a fucking flamethrower, okay? It would fire extremely fast, probably faster than, I don't care how good a wicking you are, that you're going to have very few seconds before it is. it just cannot keep up with the, the wick, the cotton, whatever, cannot keep up and keep delivering the amount of juice you almost have to flood your coils. You almost have to have the coils sitting in liquid in order to keep from just bursting into flames. And you're still only going to do maybe five, six second pull on it before it's going to be so hot that you're not going to be able to do it. It is unsafe if you do not know what you're doing. It is totally unsafe to go into a series scenario if you do not have first the knowledge in place in order to go to that level. Okay, like I've used in other videos before, just because you want to play for the NFL doesn't mean that you're good enough to play for the NFL or whatever sport. Okay, just think just because you drive your Honda Civic really well does not mean you can go drive Formula One. Okay, it's not even comparison, there is no comparison between series and parallel. Okay, parallel is a lot easier to deal with, it is a lot safer. It is something that even the most beginning vapor can get into, and there's a fairly good chance they're not going to hurt themselves or possibly somebody else, okay? Or melt something down or catch something on fire. That's where parallel is. Series is a different animal, okay? It is something you have to work into, okay? I, I just, I really want to stress safety, okay? There are too many people that just, you know, they, they've been in vaping for a month or two or something like that. They see some guy in a vape shop blow this huge cloud of vapor out of their mouth, and they're like, oh my God, I want to do that, okay? And what are you using? Oh, I'm using a a uh, quadruple series. I'm running 24 volts and I've got a point zero zero one build and all that. Oh, well, shit, I want to do that too. And then they go and try to do that and calamity as ensues, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? You can drive your car at 70 miles an hour into a brick wall. Doesn't mean you should, 
okay? Learn, get knowledge, watch YouTube videos, talk to people, whatever, and, and don't just talk to anybody. Don't take things at face value. Just get the knowledge in hand before you try to go do some of this stuff, all right? I definitely classify series as an advanced vaping level, okay? You got to know how to build right. You got to know your Addies. You got to know your device. You got to know your batteries. You got to know Ohm's law. You got to know Watt's law. You got to know these things, okay? There, there's it's science, bitch. It's science, bitch. You know, from Breaking Bad. There's science involved here, okay? And you got to know a little bit of it if you're going to do it safely. And even then, even the most experienced vapors have shit happen. Just, just shit happens. Buttons stick. Things go wrong. And before you know it, calamity ensues. Okay? So, beginning vapors, intermediate vapors, you know, just go slow. Crawl, walk, run. Then get into, if you want to get into series, fine. Start, before you go straight into an unregulated series box, get you a, get you a fairly high wattage uh, regulated device. Get you a Segeli 150. Get you a Camry 200. Get you uh, an SMY 260 or something like that or a variant or, or whatever, okay? If you want to try to see what those higher wattages are like. And then you can kind of get it out because a lot of regulated devices will protect themselves, okay? If you're, if you're using the wrong batteries, a lot of times they'll tell you check battery. That means they're saying, hey, buddy, I know you want to do 875 watts, but your batteries can't handle it. So, sorry, you know. A lot of, I know Segelis, like my Segeli 150, if you put bad batteries in that thing, it, it will stop you. Okay, you can put it up to 150 and you got some 10 amp batteries in there and you hit that button, it might go for just a, a fraction of a second and then it'll say check battery, check battery. Okay, so it protects itself. But if you, then you start getting the better batteries, you start learning your builds and then, you know, you can go ahead and, and, and they'll, they kind of cap you off. Most regulated devices will fire at 0.15 or 0.2, okay. Uh, I think the SMY 260 that I have is a point three. It even says it in the instructions. I think it, it limits itself at point three. It has fired below point three before, but it, it doesn't. Ever so often, it catches itself, and it's oh wait a minute, oh shit, I'm supposed to be firing at point three. Okay, then you can kind of get an idea what the higher wattages um, feel like. At a 0.25, for instance, I think, I don't have the math right off the top of my head, but I think at 0.25 with 8.4 volts, it's something like 280 watts, okay? That's a lot of wattage. That's a lot of heat. That's a lot of vapor, okay? So, anyway, start, start with a regulated device that has protection built in um, that will protect itself, and in, in protecting itself, it protects you. Once you get an idea for it, you get accustomed to it, you get used to the heat, then you can get yourself into a unregulated device, okay? So, I hope that helps some people. Uh, try not to ramble. I know this is probably still a 10 or 15 minute video. I don't know how long I've been recording, whatever. Oh uh, shit, I'm at 20 minutes already. So, um, be safe, okay? Get, you know, get the knowledge. Learn yourself. Get get you some learning, okay? Get you some learning. And then just take a little bit of time. Crawl, walk, run. Get you in a mechanical mod. Get you into a high wattage regulated device. Then st stumble into the higher power of an unregulated series device, okay? So, with that being said, thank you for, thank you for watching me this morning. I surely appreciate it. And uh, as always... Vape it like you stole it. I'll see y'all later.